position. Do not allow a single enemy through. our momentum. I must withdraw for now so I can think up a new plan. We managed to drive them back. What is our next move, Shun Yu? I think that we should wait for a while. We should be receiving news from the West. <laughs> Xinxian Ying. She was the daughter of Shen Pi, who served under Yuan Shao and Yuan Tan. After the Yuan family was eradicated, she and her father went to serve Cao Cao and helped to participate in quelling the chaos in Ji province. Cao Cao then used the momentum from his victory over Yuan Shao to move his forces south. He advanced his army on Chibi, determined to defeat Sun Quan who refused to surrender. This battle would serve to greatly alter the course of history. Xin Qian Ying and Xin Pi met up with Cao Cao's forces, ready to take to the battlefield once more. is right here, you mangy dog. Now, 
Take defensive positions! to take this position. We must defend it at all costs. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. until victory is ours. That certainly went easily. I'm dead. You are very skilled. It is an honor to fight alongside. the true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Skill. 
It is an honor to fight alongside you. Most impressive. But tell me. Let's do this Have you noticed the change in the wind? Now! Set fire to South South's army! We need to burn down every last one of his ships! Fire! The ship is burning! The fire is spreading! No, it can't be. You cannot carry out a plan like this, based on the sudden change of the wind. Was everything they did up to now simply a preparation for this flame attack? It can't be. Then... You think the enemy knew about this wind, and that's why they used a fire attack? Joe Yu. No. Jugo Young. This fire will leave a bitter taste.